Montana CDL Combination Vehicles Test Question 1. When you get ready to back under the semi-trailer you should line up. The kingpin to engage the driver's side locking jaw first. About 12 degrees off the line of the trailer. Directly in front of the trailer. Answer. Directly in front of the trailer. Question 2. What gear should the tractor engine be in after you uncouple the trailer and are inspecting the trailer supports? High reverse. Neutral. Low reverse. Answer. Neutral. Question 3. Why should you use chocks when parking a trailer without spring brakes? Because some states require chalking of trailer wheels. Because if the air pressure leaks away or down, there will be no brakes. Because you don't want the trailer rolling down a hill. Answer Because if the air pressure leaks away or down, there will be no brakes. Question 4. You are coupling a semi-trailer to your tractor but have not yet backed under. The trailer is at the right height when. The end of the kingpin is even with the top of the fifth wheel. It will be raised slightly when the tractor is backed under it. The kingpin is about 1 and 1 fourth inches above the fifth wheel. Answer It will be raised slightly when the tractor is backed under it. Question 5. For coupling to be completed, the safety catch for the fifth wheel locking lever must be Over the locking lever Straight up through the locking lever. Answer Over the locking lever. Question 6 When you turn suddenly while pulling doubles, which trailer is most likely to turn over? The front trailer is twice as likely to turn over as the tractor. The rear trailer is twice as likely to turn over as the tractor. Each trailer is equally likely to turn over as the tractor. Answer The rear trailer is twice as likely to turn over as the tractor. Question 7. Why should you not use the trailer hand valve while driving? Because it won't work as well as the foot brake. Because you should use the parking brake. Because of the danger of making the trailer skid. Answer Because of the danger of making the trailer skid. Question 8 the fifth wheel locking lever is not locked after the jaws close around the kingpin. This means that The coupling is not right and should be fixed before driving the vehicle. You can set the fifth wheel for weight balance. The parking lock is off and you may drive away. Answer the coupling is not right and should be fixed before driving the vehicle. Question 9. The fifth wheel locking lever is not locked after the jaws close around the kingpin. This means that The parking lock is off and may drive away. The coupling is not right and should be fixed before driving the coupled unit.
the trailer will not swivel on the fifth wheel. Answer The coupling is not right and should be fixed before driving the coupled unit. Question 10. A driver crosses the airlines when hooking up to an old trailer. What will happen? If the trailer has no spring brakes, you could drive away but you wouldn't have trailer brakes. The hand valve will apply the tractor brakes instead of the trailer brakes. The brake lights will come on when the brake pedal is pressed. Answer If the trailer has no spring brakes, you could drive away but you wouldn't have trailer brakes. Question 11. After you supply air to the trailer, make sure the air lines are not crossed and the trailer brakes are working. This is done by Lifting the brake pedal Applying and releasing the trailer brakes and listening for brake sounds Turning on the parking brakes from the cab Answer Applying and releasing the trailer brakes and listening for brake sounds. Question 12. You are coupling a semi-trailer to your tractor but have not yet backed under. The trailer is at the right height when? The end of the kingpin is even with the top of the fifth wheel. The kingpin is about 1 and 1 fourth inches above the fifth wheel. It will be raised slightly when the tractor is backed under it. Answer It will be raised slightly when the tractor is backed under it. Question 13. When should you use chocks to park a trailer not equipped with spring brakes? Always only when it will be parked on an ink line. Never. Answer. Only when it will be parked on an ink line. Question 14. In general, the higher your truck's center of gravity, the easier it is to turn over. Easier it is to turn around corners. More stable it is when turning. Answer Easier it is to turn over. Question 15. When coupling, the proper position of the fifth wheel is Tilted down toward the end of tractor. Level with the ground. Tilted up toward the end of the tractor. Answer. Tilted down toward the end of tractor. Question 16. Which of these statements is true? Bobtail tractors can take longer to stop than a combination vehicle loaded to the maximum gross weight. Always delay braking a heavy vehicle until you have no other choice. Light vehicles need more braking power to stop than heavy ones. Answer Bobtail tractors can take longer to stop than a combination vehicle loaded to the maximum gross weight. Question 17. You are coupling tractor to a semi-trailer. You have connected the airlines. Before backing under the trailer you should Pull ahead to test the glad hands connections. Supply air to the trailer system. Then pull out the air supply knob. Make sure that the trailer brakes are off. Answer Supply air to the trailer system, 
Then pull out the air supply knob. Question 18. What is the emergency airline for? To have extra air pressure in case you need it. To engage the front brakes of the tractor in case of an emergency. To engage the trailer brakes in case of air pressure loss. Answer To engage the trailer brakes in case of air pressure loss. Question 19. What is a tractor jackknife? When you lock up the drive tires on the tractor and the tractor spins out sideways as the trailer continues to push forward. Neither of these answers are correct. When you lock up the drive tires on the trailer and the trailer spins out sideways as the tractor continues to push forward. Answer when you lock up the drive tires on the tractor and the tractor spins out sideways as the trailer continues to push forward. Question 20. Before you back under a trailer, make sure that Trailer brakes are locked. Air brakes are off. Air supply knob is in. Answer. Trailer brakes are locked. Question 21. Why should you be sure that the fifth wheel plate is greased as required? To prevent steering problems. To reduce heat and noise. To ensure good electrical connections. Answer. To prevent steering problems. Question 22. When coupling, the proper position of the fifth wheel is? Level with the ground. Tilted up toward the end of the tractor. Tilted down toward the end of tractor. Answer. Tilted down toward the end of tractor. Question 23. If you have coupled with the semi-trailer, where should the front trailer supports be before driving away? Raised one halfway with the crank handle secured in its bracket. Raised three-fourths way with the crank handle removed. Fully raised with the crown handle secured in its bracket. Answer Fully raised with the crown handle secured in its bracket. Question 24 Where should the tractor do when you inspect landing gear after uncoupling the trailer? Completely cleared from the trailer. With a tractor frame under the trailer. With the fifth wheel directly beneath the kingpin. Answer. With a tractor frame under the trailer. Question 25. The air leakage rate for a combination vehicle, engine off, brakes on, should not be more than. Psi per minute. Six. Four. Two. Answer. Four. Question 26. You are coupling a semi-trailer to your tractor but have not yet backed under. The trailer is at the right height when. The end of the kingpin is even with the top of the fifth wheel. It will be raised slightly when the tractor is backed under it. The kingpin is about one and one fourth inches above the fifth wheel. Answer 
It will be raised slightly when the tractor is backed under it. Question 27. When backing a tractor under a trailer you should Always use lowest reverse gear. Always approach the trailer at a slight angle. Do it quickly to ensure that the kingpin is locked into the fifth wheel. Answer Always use lowest reverse gear. Question 28. After you have coupled the trailer you should have to raise the landing gear by using Intermediate High gear Low gear Answer Low gear Question 29. You are driving a combination vehicle when the trailer breaks away, pulling apart both airlines. You would expect the trailer brakes to come on and the tractor protection valve to close, the trailer supply valve to stay open, the tractor to lose all air pressure. Answer the tractor protection valve to close. Question 30. There are two things that a driver can do to prevent a rollover. They are, 1. Keep the cargo as close to the ground as possible, and, 2. Make sure that the brakes are properly adjusted. Keep the fifth wheels free play as tight as possible. Go slowly around turns. Answer Go slowly around turns. Question 31. For coupling to be completed, the safety catch for the fifth wheel locking lever must be Over the locking lever. Straight up. Through the locking lever. Answer Over the locking lever. Question 32 Why should you use chocks when parking a trailer without spring brakes? Because you don't want the trailer rolling down a hill. Because some states require chalking of trailer wheels. Because if the air pressure leaks away or down, there will be no brakes. Answer Because if the air pressure leaks away or down, there will be no brakes. Question 33. What are the other names for the service airline? Control line or signal line. Curved line or signal line. Straight line or control line. Answer. Control line or signal line. Question 34. When backing a tractor under a trailer you should. Do it quickly to ensure that the kingpin is locked into the fifth wheel. Always approach the trailer at a slight angle. Always use lowest reverse gear. Answer Always use lowest reverse gear. Question 35. You have pushed the trailer air supply valve. You should not back a tractor under a trailer until the whole air system is between 60 and 80 pounds per square inch. At normal pressure. Empty. Answer. At normal pressure. Question 36. 
which of these vehicles off tracks the most? 5 axle tractor towing a 52 foot trailer 5 axle tractor towing a 45 foot trailer 5 axle tractor towing a 42 foot trailer Answer 5 axle tractor towing a 52 foot trailer Question 37 the fifth wheel locking lever is not locked after the jaws close around the kin pin. This means that The coupling is not right and should be fixed before driving the coupled unit. The parking lock is off and may drive away. The trailer will not swivel on the fifth wheel. Answer the coupling is not right and should be fixed before driving the coupled unit. Question 38. In general, the higher your truck's center of gravity, the more stable it is when turning. Easier it is to turn over. Easier it is to turn around corners. Answer Easier it is to turn over. Question 39 More than half of truck driver deaths and crashes are the result of rollovers. Trucks turn over easier when fully loaded and are Five times more likely to roll over in a crash than empty rigs. Two times more likely to roll over in a crash than empty rigs. Ten times more likely to roll over in a crash than empty rigs. Answer Ten times more likely to roll over in a crash than empty rigs. Question 40 What is the emergency airline? Airlines connecting the parking brake to the trailer brakes. Airlines that control the emergency brakes of the tractor. Airlines that control the emergency brakes on combination vehicles. Answer Airlines that control the emergency brakes on combination vehicles. Question 41. There are two things that a driver can do to prevent a rollover. They are, 1. Keep the cargo as close to the ground as possible, and, 2. Make sure that the brakes are properly adjusted. Go slowly around turns. Keep the fifth wheels free play as tight as possible. Answer. Go slowly around turns. Question 42. The fifth wheel locking lever is not locked after the jaws close around the kin pin. This means that The parking lock is off and may drive away. The coupling is not right and should be fixed before driving the coupled unit. The trailer will not swivel on the fifth wheel. Answer The coupling is not right and should be fixed before driving the coupled unit. Question 43 While checking if the rear trailer is securely coupled to the front trailer the landing gear should be Slightly raised Fully raised. Fully lowered. Answer. Slightly raised. Question 44. How should you test the tractor semi-trailer connection for security? Put the tractor in gear and pull ahead with a sharp jerk. Rock the trailer back and forth with the trailer brakes locked. 
pull gently forward in low gear against the lock trailer brakes, then look at it carefully. Answer Pull gently forward in low gear against the lock trailer brakes, then look at it carefully. Question 45. The tractor protection valve will close in the trailer. Emergency brakes will come on when there is a major leak in the brake line. Parking. Service. Emergency. Answer. Emergency. Question 46. You supply air to the trailer tanks by Pushing in the trailer air supply valve Pulling out the trailer air supply valve Connecting the service line glad hand Answer Pushing in the trailer air supply valve Question 47. When driving a set of doubles it is necessary to close which shut off valve in the last trailer? Middle section. Front. Back. Answer. Back. Question 48. In general. The higher your truck's center of gravity, the easier it is to turn over. Easier it is to turn around corners. More stable it is when turning. Answer Easier it is to turn over. Question 49 what gear should the tractor engine be in after you uncouple the trailer and are inspecting the trailer supports? High reverse Neutral Low reverse Answer Neutral Question 50 which type of truck trailer combination has the best chance of the crack the whip rollover? A single tractor trailer. A tractor pulling three trailers. A tractor pulling two trailers. Answer A tractor pulling three trailers. Question 51. You are coupling a semi-trailer to your tractor but have not yet backed under. The trailer is at the right height when The end of the kingpin is even with the top of the fifth wheel. It will be raised slightly when the tractor is backed under it. The kingpin is about 1 and 1 fourth inches above the fifth wheel. Answer. It will be raised slightly when the tractor is backed under it. Question 52. You are driving a combination vehicle when the trailer breaks away, pulling apart both airlines. You would expect the trailer brakes to come on and The tractor to lose all air pressure. The tractor protection valve to close. The trailer supply valve to stay open. Answer The tractor protection valve to close. Question 53 You should not back a tractor under a trailer until the whole air system is at normal pressure. Between 60 and 80 pounds per square inch. Blood down to half the maximum pressure. Answer At normal pressure. 
Question 54. When coupling, the proper position of the fifth wheel is Tilted up toward the end of the tractor. Tilted down toward the end of tractor. Level with the ground. Answer. Tilted down toward the end of tractor. Question 55. You are coupling tractor to a semi-trailer. You have connected the airlines. Before backing under the trailer you should Supply air to the trailer system, then pull out the air supply knob. Pull ahead to test the glad hands connections. Make sure that the trailer brakes are off. Answer Supply air to the trailer system, then pull out the air supply knob. Question 56. The trailer hand valve works the trailer brakes. Which of these statements is true? The trailer hand valve should be used only to test the trailer brakes. The foot brake sends air to all of the brakes on the vehicle, including that the trailers. Both of these statements are correct. Answer. Both of these statements are correct. Question 57. There are two things that a driver can do to prevent a rollover. They are, 1. Keep the cargo as close to the ground as possible, and, 2. Go slowly around turns. Make sure that the brakes are properly adjusted. Keep the fifth wheels free play as tight as possible. Answer Go slowly around turns. Question 58. For coupling to be completed, the safety catch for the fifth wheel locking lever must be Straight up Over the locking lever through the locking lever. Answer. Over the locking lever. Question 59. When checking the trailer emergency brakes, make sure that the tractor protection control valve is placed in the position. Normal. Emergency. Neutral. Answer. Emergency. Question 60. You are coupling a tractor to a semi trailer and have backed up but are not under it. What should you hook up before backing under semi trailer? The emergency and service airlines. The electrical service cable. Nothing, back up and lock the fifth wheel. Answer. The emergency and service airlines. Question 61. You should not back a tractor under a trailer until the whole air system is at normal pressure. Blood down to half the maximum pressure. Between 60 and 80 pounds per square inch. Answer. At normal pressure. Question 62. After connecting the air lines, but before backing under the trailer you should Make sure that the trailer brakes are off. Supply air to the trailer system, then pull out the air supply knob. Walk around the rig to make sure it is clear. Answer Supply air to the trailer system, then pull out the air supply knob.
Question 63, the tractor protection valve will close in the trailer, emergency brakes will come on when there is a major leak in the brake line. Parking Emergency Service Answer Emergency Question 64. Which of these statements is true? Light vehicles need more braking power to stop than heavy ones. Always delay braking a heavy vehicle until you have no other choice. Bobtail tractors can take longer to stop than a combination vehicle loaded to the maximum gross weight. Answer Bobtail tractors can take longer to stop than a combination vehicle loaded to the maximum gross weight. Question 65. When backing a tractor under a trailer you should expect. Trailer will be lifted slightly when the tractor backs under it. End of the kingpin is even with the top of the fifth wheel. Trailer landing gear is fully extended. Answer Trailer will be lifted slightly when the tractor backs under it. Question 66 When driving a set of doubles it is necessary to close which shut off valve in the last trailer? Middle section Front Back Answer Back Question 67 When you are uncoupling a loaded trailer lower the landing gear until it Makes contact with the ground and leave the trailer off the fifth wheel Reaches the ground Makes firm contact with the ground. Answer Makes firm contact with the ground. Question 68 If the service airline comes apart while you are driving a combination vehicle but the emergency line stay together, what will happen right away? The trailer's air tank will exhaust through the open line. Nothing is likely to happen until you try to apply the brakes. The emergency tractor brakes will come on. Answer Nothing is likely to happen until you try to apply the brakes. Question 69 when you turn suddenly while pulling doubles, which trailer is most likely to turn over? The rear trailer is twice as likely to turn over as the tractor. Each trailer is equally likely to turn over as the tractor. The front trailer is twice as likely to turn over as the tractor. Answer the rear trailer is twice as likely to turn over as the tractor. Question 70. You want to inspect the trailer supports. You should place the tractor transmission in which gear after you have uncoupled the trailer? Low reverse. High reverse. Neutral. Answer Neutral Question 71 When checking the trailer, emergency brakes make sure that the tractor protection control valve is placed in the position Normal Neutral Emergency Answer Emergency
Question 72. Describe what the trailer air supply control does. It is a yellow, six-sided knob used to control the tractor protection valve. It is used to supply the trailer with air, shut the air off, and put on the trailer emergency brakes. It is a device used to keep the trailer behind the tractor. Answer It is used to supply the trailer with air, shut the air off, and put on the trailer emergency brakes. Question 73. After you lock the kingpin into the fifth wheel, you should check the connection by pulling the tractor ahead sharply to release the trailer brakes. The tractor ahead gently with the trailer brakes locked. Forward 50 feet, turning right and left. Answer. The tractor ahead gently with the trailer brakes locked. Question 74. Compared to a straight truck or bus there are things to inspect in combination vehicles. More. Fewer. The same number. Answer. More. Question 75. A tractor with an trailer requires the shortest amount of stopping distance. Empty. Lightly loaded. Fully loaded. Answer. Fully loaded. Question 76. You are uncoupling a trailer. After you shut off the trailer air supply and lock the trailer brakes, you should Immediately put on your tractor parking brakes. Back up gently to ease pressure on the fifth wheel locking jaws. Begin to lower trailer landing gear. Answer Back up gently to ease pressure on the fifth wheel locking jaws. Question 77. What is the emergency airline? Airlines that control the emergency brakes of the tractor. Airlines that control the emergency brakes on combination vehicles. Airlines connecting the parking brake to the trailer brakes. Answer. Airlines that control the emergency brakes on combination vehicles. Question 78. Under good driving conditions, you should leave at least one second of space between your vehicle and the vehicle ahead for every feet of your vehicle's length. 30 20 10 Answer. 10. Question 79. If the service airline comes apart while you are driving a combination vehicle but the emergency lines stay together, what will happen right away? The emergency tractor brakes will come on. Nothing is likely to happen until you try to apply the brakes. The trailer's air tank will exhaust through the open line. Answer Nothing is likely to happen until you try to apply the brakes. Question 80. When backing a tractor under a trailer you should Do it quickly to ensure that the kingpin is locked into the fifth wheel. Always use lowest reverse gear. Always approach the trailer at a slight angle. Answer 
Always use lowest reverse gear. Question 81. After connecting the air lines, but before backing under the trailer you should Make sure that the trailer brakes are off. Walk around the rig to make sure it is clear. Supply air to the trailer system, then pull out the air supply knob. Answer Supply air to the trailer system, then pull out the air supply knob. Question 82. You are driving a combination vehicle when the trailer breaks away, pulling apart both airlines. You would expect the trailer brakes to come on and the trailer supply valve to stay open, the tractor to lose all air pressure, the tractor protection valve to close. Answer the tractor protection valve to close. Question 83. The air leakage rate for a combination vehicle, engine off, brakes off, should be no more than Psi per minute. 4 2 3 Answer. 4. Question 84. You are uncoupling a trailer. After you shut off the trailer air supply and lock the trailer brakes, you should Begin to lower trailer landing gear. Immediately put on your tractor parking brakes. Back up gently to ease pressure on the fifth wheel locking jaws. Answer. Back up gently to ease pressure on the fifth wheel locking jaws. Question 85. Which part of the kingpin should the locking jaws close around? The base. The head. The shank. Answer. The shank. Question 86. Under good driving conditions, you should leave at least one second of space between your vehicle and the vehicle ahead for every feet of your vehicle's length. 10 30 20 Answer 10 Question 87. What gear should the tractor engine be in after you uncouple the trailer and are inspecting the trailer supports? High reverse. Low reverse. Neutral. Answer. Neutral. Question 88. Which type of truck trailer combination has the best chance of the crack the whip rollover? A single tractor trailer. A tractor pulling two trailers. A tractor pulling three trailers. Answer. A tractor pulling three trailers. Question 89. Describe what the trailer air supply control does. It is used to supply the trailer with air, shut the air off, and put on the trailer emergency brakes. It is a device used to keep the trailer behind the tractor. It is a yellow, six-sided knob used to control the tractor protection valve. Answer. It is used to supply the trailer with air, shut the air off, and put on the trailer emergency brakes.
Question 90. After the trailer has been coupled to the tractor, the tractor protection control valve should be placed in what position? Normal. Down. Up. Answer. Normal. Question 91. If the service line comes apart while you are driving a combination vehicle but the emergency line stays together, what will happen right away? The trailer's tank will exhaust through the open line. Nothing is likely to happen until you try to apply the brakes. The emergency trailer brakes will come on. Answer. Nothing is likely to happen until you try to apply the brakes. Question 92. What gear should the tractor engine be in after you uncouple the trailer and are inspecting the trailer supports? High reverse. Neutral. Low reverse. Answer. Neutral. Question 93. You are uncoupling a trailer. After you shut off the trailer air supply and lock the trailer brakes, you should Begin to lower trailer landing gear. Immediately put on your tractor parking brakes. Back up gently to ease pressure on the fifth wheel locking jaws. Answer. Back up gently to ease pressure on the fifth wheel locking jaws. Question 94. When should you use chocks to park a trailer not equipped with spring brakes? Only when it will be parked on an incline. Never. Always. Answer. Only when it will be parked on an incline. Question 95. After connecting the air lines, but before backing under the trailer you should Make sure that the trailer brakes are off. Supply air to the trailer system, then pull out the air supply knob. Walk around the rig to make sure it is clear. Answer Supply air to the trailer system. Then pull out the air supply knob. Question 96. A tractor with an trailer requires the shortest amount of stopping distance. Lightly loaded. Empty. Fully loaded. Answer. Fully loaded. Question 97. You have coupled with the semi-trailer. Where should you put the iron trailer supports before driving away? Three turns off the top with a crank handle secured in its bracket. Fully raised with the crown handle secured in its bracket. Raised one halfway with the crank handle secured in its bracket. Answer. Fully raised with the crown handle secured in its bracket. Question 98. The hand valve should be used. Only with the foot brake. To test the trailer brakes. Only when the trailer is fully loaded. Answer. To test the trailer brakes. Question 99. Why should you use chocks when parking a trailer without spring brakes? 
Because you don't want the trailer rolling down a hill. Because if the air pressure leaks away or down, there will be no brakes. Because some states require chalking of trailer wheels. Answer. Because if the air pressure leaks away or down, there will be no brakes. Question 100. Glad hands are used to connect the service and emergency airlines from the track to the trailer. Electric lines from the tractor to trailer. Kingpin from the trailer to the locking jaws of the fifth wheel. Answer. Service and emergency airlines from the track to the trailer. Question 101. Your emergency airline breaks or gets pulled apart while you are driving. The loss of pressure will cause the Emergency trailer brakes to come on. Trailer supply valve to open. Air compressor to unload instead of pumping air. Answer Emergency trailer brakes to come on. Question 102. After you have coupled the trailer you should have to raise the landing gear by using High gear Low gear Intermediate Answer Low gear Question 103. Airlines on a combination vehicle are often colored to keep them from getting mixed up. The emergency line is, the service line is. Blue, red. Black, yellow. Red, blue. Answer. Red, blue. Question 104. When you turn suddenly while pulling doubles, which trailer is most likely to turn over? Each trailer is equally likely to turn over as the tractor. The rear trailer is twice as likely to turn over as the tractor. The front trailer is twice as likely to turn over as the tractor. Answer. The rear trailer is twice as likely to turn over as the tractor. Question 105. When a vehicle is carrying a load at night, which extends four feet or more beyond the rear of the body, there must be at the extreme end of the load. Red flags. Red lights. Red flag. Answer. Red lights. Question 106. The hand valve should be used only when the trailer is fully loaded to test the trailer brakes. Only with the foot brake. Answer. To test the trailer brakes. Question 107. When coupling, the proper position of the fifth wheel is Tilted down toward the end of tractor. Level with the ground. Tilted up toward the end of the tractor. Answer tilted down toward the end of tractor. Question 108. You should not back a tractor under a trailer until the whole air system is at normal pressure. Blood down to half the maximum pressure. 
between 60 and 80 pounds per square inch. Answer At normal pressure. Question 109. You are driving a combination vehicle when the trailer breaks away, pulling apart both airlines. You would expect the trailer brakes to come on and the tractor protection valve to close, the tractor to lose all air pressure, the trailer supply valve to stay open. Answer the tractor protection valve to close. Question 110. How much space should be between upper and lower fifth wheel after coupling? Just enough to see light through it. None. About one fourth inch. Answer. None. Question 111. The driver crosses the airlines when hooking up to an old trailer. What will happen? If the trailer has no spring brakes, you can drive away, but you will not have trailer brakes. The hand valve will apply the tractor brakes instead of the trailer brakes. The brake pedal will work the trailer spring brakes instead of the air brakes. Answer. If the trailer has no spring brakes, you can drive away, but you will not have trailer brakes. Question 112. You are coupling a tractor to a semi-trailer and have backed up but are not under it. What should you hook up before backing under semi-trailer? The electrical service cable. Nothing. Back up and lock the fifth wheel. The emergency and service airlines. Answer The emergency and service airlines. Question 113 Semi trailers made before 1975 that are equipped with air brakes. Usually need a glad hand converter. Often do not have spring brakes. Are easier to break because they are heavier. Answer Often do not have spring brakes. Question 114 You have a major leak in the service line and you put on the brakes. Service air pressure will escape and cause the Tractor spring brakes to lock on Trailer tank pressure to be lost Trailer emergency brakes to come on Answer Trailer emergency brakes to come on Question 115. The trailer hand valve works the trailer brakes. Which of these statements is true? The foot brake sends air to all of the brakes on the vehicle, including that the trailers. The trailer hand valve should be used only to test the trailer brakes. Both of these statements are correct. Answer. Both of these statements are correct. Question 116. Describe what the service line is for. To carry air to the cab of the rig to cool it. To carry air to a relay valve that allows the trailer brakes to be applied quickly. To carry air to the parking brake to control the trailer brakes. Answer. To carry air to a relay valve then allows the trailer brakes to be applied quickly. 
Question 117. What is the emergency airline? Airlines that control the emergency brakes of the tractor. Airlines connecting the parking brake to the trailer brakes. Airlines that control the emergency brakes on combination vehicles. Answer Airlines that control the emergency brakes on combination vehicles. Question 118. What gear should the tractor engine be in after you uncouple the trailer and are inspecting the trailer supports? High reverse. Low reverse. Neutral. Answer. Neutral. Question 119. A trailer is most likely to jackknife when it is Overloaded Empty Loaded to full capacity Answer Empty Question 120. What is a tractor jackknife? When you lock up the drive tires on the trailer and the trailer spins out sideways as the tractor continues to push forward. When you lock up the drive tires on the tractor and the tractor spins out sideways as the trailer continues to push forward. Neither of these answers are correct. Answer when you lock up the drive tires on the tractor and the tractor spins out sideways as the trailer continues to push forward. Question 121. How much space should be between upper and lower fifth wheel after coupling? Just enough to see light through it. None. About one fourth inch. Answer None Question 122. Describe what the service line is for. To carry air to the cab of the rig to cool it. To carry air to the parking brake to control the trailer brakes. To carry air to a relay valve that allows the trailer brakes to be applied quickly. Answer To carry air to a relay valve then allows the trailer brakes to be applied quickly. Question 123. The safest way to make turn without entering another traffic lane is You should turn wide as you complete the turn. You should not make a turn and move to another place where you can make a turn without crossing other lane. You should turn wide before you start the turn. Answer You should turn wide as you complete the turn. Question 124 the fifth wheel locking lever is not locked after the jaws close around the kinpin. This means that The coupling is not right and should be fixed before driving the coupled unit. The parking lock is off and may drive away. The trailer will not swivel on the fifth wheel. Answer the coupling is not right and should be fixed before driving the coupled unit. Question 125. Glad hands are used to connect the Service and emergency airlines from the track to the trailer. Electric lines from the tractor to trailer. Kingpin from the trailer to the locking jaws of the fifth wheel. 
Answer. Service and emergency airlines from the track to the trailer. Question 126. When should you use the hand valve to park a combination vehicle? To park at loading docks. Never. To park on a grade. Answer. Never. Question 127. To stop a trailer skid you should Counter steer Release the brakes Use the trailer hand brakes Answer Release the brakes Question 128 You have pushed the trailer air supply valve you should not back a tractor under a trailer until the whole air system is at normal pressure between 60 and 80 pounds per square inch empty answer at normal pressure question 129 you should not back a tractor under a trailer until the whole air system is Bled down to half the maximum pressure Between 60 and 80 pounds per square inch At normal pressure Answer At normal pressure Question 130. If the service airline comes apart while you are driving a combination vehicle but the emergency line stay together, what will happen right away? Nothing is likely to happen until you try to apply the brakes. The trailer's air tank will exhaust through the open line. The emergency tractor brakes will come on. Answer. Nothing is likely to happen until you try to apply the brakes. Question 131. Which of these vehicles off tracks the most? Five axle tractor towing a 42 foot trailer. Five axle tractor towing a 45 foot trailer. 5 axle tractor towing a 52 foot trailer. Answer 5 axle tractor towing a 52 foot trailer. Question 132 The hand valve should be used to test the trailer brakes only when the trailer is fully loaded. Only with the foot brake. Answer. To test the trailer brakes. Question 133. The air leakage rate for a combination vehicle, engine off, brakes off, should be no more than. Psi per minute. 2. 3. Four. Answer. Four. Question 134. To unlock the fifth wheel, pull the release handle to the position. Neutral. Open. Closed. Answer. Open. Question 135. You have coupled with the semi-trailer. Where should you put the iron trailer supports before driving away? Fully raised with the crown handle secured in its bracket. 
raised one halfway with the crank handle secured in its bracket. Three turns off the top with a crank handle secured in its bracket. Answer Fully raised with the crown handle secured in its bracket. Question 136. Describe what the trailer air supply control does. It is used to supply the trailer with air, shut the air off, and put on the trailer emergency brakes. It is a device used to keep the trailer behind the tractor. It is a yellow, six-sided knob used to control the tractor protection valve. Answer It is used to supply the trailer with air, shut the air off, and put on the trailer emergency brakes. Question 137 which type of truck trailer combination has the best chance of the crack the whip rollover? A single tractor trailer. A tractor pulling two trailers. A tractor pulling three trailers. Answer A tractor pulling three trailers. Question 138. Why should you be sure that the fifth wheel plate is greased as required? To ensure good electrical connections. To prevent steering problems. To reduce heat and noise. Answer. To prevent steering problems. Question 139. The front trailer supports are up and the trailer is resting on the tractor. Make sure. The safety latch is in the unlocked position. There is enough clearance between the upper and lower fifth wheel. There is enough clearance between the tractor frame and the landing gear. Answer. There is enough clearance between the tractor frame and the landing gear. Question 140. For a coupling to be completed, the safety catch for the fifth wheel locking lever must be Over the locking lever Straight up Through the locking lever Answer over the locking lever. Question 141. Why should you lock the tractor glad hands, or dummy couplers, to each other when you are not towing a trailer? The connected brake circuit becomes a backup air tank. It will keep dirt and water out of the lines. If you did not, you could never build system pressure. Answer It will keep dirt and water out of the lines. Question 142 When backing a tractor under a trailer you should expect Trailer will be lifted slightly when the tractor backs under it. Trailer landing gear is fully extended. End of the kingpin is even with the top of the fifth wheel. Answer Trailer will be lifted slightly when the tractor backs under it. Question 143 You are driving a combination vehicle when the trailer breaks away, pulling apart both airlines. You would expect the trailer brakes to come on and The tractor to lose all air pressure the trailer supply valve to stay open. The tractor protection valve to close. Answer 
the tractor protection valve to close. Thank you for watching the video and wish you will get your driver license soon.